Centauri. I had a lot of fun these past few weeks posting videos and sharing activities and I hope you really like this last one. Today we're making a baking soda vinegar rocket, so let's get started! You need the following materials. Plastic bottle, scissor, tape, funnel, aluminum foil, construction paper, get some markers to decorate also. You will need three pencils or pen, a rubber band, a tablespoon measuring cup, a, um, a paper towel, and baking, so and baking soda, vinegar, and lastly, a piece of plastic cut from a plastic bag. So let's get started. I'm going to use a 16 ounce um, Pepsi bottle. So with this, I'm going to first fill it up with vinegar. I want to fill it up to about halfway and I'm going to do this before I decorate so that I know just how much vinegar I have in the bottle. So I'm going to insert my funnel. Now I'm going to decorate my rocket or bottle. So you can use the materials like the paper and the aluminum foil. And the reason why I asked for aluminum foil is you can easily mold aluminum to make the pointed top. So what you need is not a lot, just a strip, and then you're going to turn the bottle upside down. Make sure the cap is screwed on tight so the vinegar doesn't spill out. And you're going to wrap about the top of the portion. take a tape and then just secure the aluminum. There, we got our pointed top. Now we want to make our side of the rocket pretty, so we're going to cover it with our construction paper. I've already cut out my pattern here, so if I go ahead and roll my rocket on top, Now I've got a pretty covering, so I can go ahead and just tape that. And what I actually want to do is before I tape this securely to the bottle, I'm going to mark the three corners. Like so. And the reason why I mark the three corner is that's where the rocket wing will go. So I'm going to cut out my rocket, rocket wing. And to make the wing is simple, you just need three right triangles. So I'm going to take my Sharpie and then just draw a diagonal line. And then I'm going to, or you can make a square to start with, and then draw a diagonal line. Then I'm going to draw another square, um, rectangle and then draw another diagonal line. And then if I cut along these lines, then I should get Oh, I got four, but you can use three. I got rocket wings. So I'm going to go ahead and attach these to the marked corners. This. So what I'm actually doing is I'm taping one side and then I'm putting it and then now I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to tape the other side. If I do that, 
the balance should be just so that the wind should be able to send, like so. Now we finished our rocket wing, we want to attach our pencil. And this part is very important because our pencil is going to go between the wings and it's going to support the bottle. So since our bottle has vinegar, it should be enough to, um, you should be able to support the bottle. That's why you have to take the pencils to our paper very securely. So you're gonna place the pencils in between the wings I'm going to go ahead and place it down and then I'm going to roll it up. And if I should that if I do, if I tape it, then it should be my rocket is finished. Now we're going to make our vin our baking soda pouch. What you need is a paper towel and it's a little bit big so I'm going to cut it about in half then I'm going to get a scoop just a tablespoon of baking soda and then I'm going to place it in the middle of my paper towel now carefully I'm going to close it and then secure it with a tape. Then I'm going to tape the side together so the baking soda doesn't spill out. The reason why I'm doing that is this rocket should fly when the baking soda meets the vinegar. It's a chemical reaction, but the thing is we want to measure our timing. We don't want to put the baking soda, we don't want the baking soda and vinegar to meet right away because it will, um, the rocket will go off and we want to make sure we're in a safe distance before the rocket sets up. So that's why we're securing it so that when we put it in here and then we flip it upside down, the vinegar should have time to get into the baking soda, letting us um, go to a safe distance. So I finished my pouch, and this should be small, just narrow enough so that it should be able to fit into the, the bottle. So you're going to go ahead and take this outside, and then carefully insert this into the bottle. Here's an empty rocket without the vinegar. I'm going to show you what you should do when you go outside. You're going to carefully insert the baking soda pouch into the opening. Don't put it all the way in. Just keep one of the flap and then just hang it over the edge like this. Now you're going to seal the bottle. So take the piece of plastic and then you're going to cover the opening. Then you're going to secure it with a rubber band. In the, um, in the video online, they use the cork, but I don't have cork. And for those of you who don't have corks at home, just covering the opening with the plastic and rubber band should do just fine. Now you're going to keep it so that the baking soda doesn't meet the vinegar yet. And then when you go outside, you're going to go ahead and flip the bottle and then let it stand. And then in about like five seconds, don't worry, there's no vinegar in it yet, so it's not gonna explode. But in like five to 10 seconds, the baking soda should meet the vinegar and then react and send the rocket flying.